Good afternoon everyone, this is AJ, the Movie Owl, back for a um, look at a set of Blu-rays that I have um, in a series that I'm going to call From the Nostalgia Vault. Um, today I'm going to be looking at the TV series Sequest DSV, um, which originally aired in 1993 to 1996. It had three seasons and a total of 51 episodes. Um, the show came out in the United States on NBC and here in the UK it was um, shown on ITV. Um, the programme, it, it starred Roy Scheider, um, Chief Brody from Jaws, um, Stephanie Beecham, um, Stacey Hyaduck, who had been in Superboy several years before. Um, yeah, so the programme originally... Um, when, it, when it first came out, it, it had a mass um, marketing campaign. Um, it, it was sort of marketed as the next big thing. The programme had a lot of money put into it at the time. It was probably about one million per episode. Um, yeah, it had some fantastic sets, set designs. The CGI at the time was, was top-notch for TV. Um, but unfortunately, the first series did suffer with rating problems and um, it was, they were unsure as to whether the programme was going to get renewed for a season two. Um, because when, when NBC aired it, they put it up against um, Murder, She Wrote and the Terry Hatcher, Dean Cain headline series, Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Um, ultimately, the programme did get picked up for a season two. Um, but it kind of shifted direction and in the first season it was very based in science fact you know the ship was a research vessel um, Captain Nathan Bridger Roy Scheider was the designer inventor of the ship um, and basically we're, we're at a point in earth where there's no more resources on the, the planet's surface so we're going into the depths of the ocean to to find the resources for the planet there are outposts underneath the oceans um and there's a a, a federation essentially set up to protect and and police for want of a better word the police the, the earth's oceans um so the program is very very star trekky it, it's it's like star trek on a submarine um basically that the setup with the cast has that familiarity to it that star trek has you've got the captain you've got the engineer you've got the doctor you got the you know science all this sort of stuff um yeah so as it went into season two the program became more science fiction based um in that it had a, a jump in time um, aliens had been introduced and all this sort of stuff. Roy Scheider wasn't very happy with the direction of it and the cast did end up changing for season two because the shooting locations for the programme also changed. Um, I think where it was originally being shot, which I can't recall where it was, they changed to a Florida-based shooting um, and, and certain actors didn't want to go across and, and spend that time away. So it had, it had a cast change. Um, yeah, so... And then season three came, which was like ended up being a half season. And again, the program had to change the direction. And Roy Scheider wanted out of his contract for the show, um, which they allowed him to, um, as long as he would come back for a few episodes in in as, as like a guest star. Um, at that point, Michael Ironside took the reins of the program. Um, he was more of a military captain. Um, whereas Roy Scheider was more of a scientific captain. Um, and it had a title change from Sequest DSV to Sequest 2032. Um, ultimately, at that point, 1996, leading to the show's cancellation. Now, here in the UK, it has never had a, a DVD, a Blu-ray release, sorry. It may have come out on DVD and I missed it. I can't say for certain. I know I never had it on DVD. Um, but good old... Amazon Germany You can pick up the DVDs. So I will show you um, This is season one of It does have the English language track obviously otherwise I wouldn't have bought it um, It's got a nice slip case to it um, And 
that is the cover. Steven Spielberg presents. He was a producer on the show. Um, the show also had a, a, um, a dolphin in it that could speak to the crew um, through uh, a, um, a language translator type thing. Um, the dolphin was fully um, um, animatronic. Um, it looked pretty good. So your discs, you do have a, 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 a um, you have a case, a cover like Germany do, where you can flip the case um, because it has the massive logo, the sorry, the age rating on it. So you can flip it around so it doesn't have that. Um, it is a one, two, three, four, five disc set. Um, I can't show you disc one at the moment for obvious reasons. <laughs> but yeah, so it's nice artwork on the discs. It's got the episode's names, albeit in German, but you've got the cast of characters. Um, I think his name was Wallencheck, something Wallencheck, I can't remember. Um, he was like the uh, Will Crusher, <laughs> but not as nerdy as Will Crusher on the ship. He's the character that designed the, the dolphin talking system, hence why he's on the ship. Stacey Hyaduck from Superboy. Um, standout eyes, very funny colour. Um, he was the commander on board the vessel. Um, Stephanie Beecham, the doctor. Um, yeah, and obviously Roy Scheider is on the case for season, on the disc for, for, for part one. So, then we move to season two. Again, exactly the same case design with a um, nice lip case, as you can see. Um, you can see the cast changes. Um, yeah, Deloise, one of the Deloise brothers. Um, she came in to replace Stephanie Beecham. Um, yeah, so again, it has a, 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 a flip, so you don't have the age rate in there. That's the cover and the reverse. Um, and again, it's a five disc set, disc one. Disc two with the Sequest itself on it. Disc three. Disc four. And disc five with Darwin the Dolphin. Um, yeah, so that's season two. And finally, we have season three. Again, with cast changes, Michael Ironside there. Um, great actor. Um, apologies, that's the back of the box. It is a slip cover again, much like the season one and two. So they do all look good together. Um, so yeah, solid enough slip. Um, that's the front and the back. Now, like I said, this was a short season, so it should have... Um, and that behind me, that's Ted Ramey, brother of Sam Ramey. Um, he was also a cast member. So you've got Michael Ironside on disc one, disc two, and disc three. Yeah, it's a very nostalgic um, series. At this time, I was quite young. I remember working. I used to have to get my dad to tape them for me on the old VHSs. I would upset if I missed an episode. Um, um, <laughs> Yeah, I used to come home from work and watch them. Um, it was, yeah, it was a fun series. It was, you know, it never set the world alight or anything, but it was good enough. Um, thinking back to it, I really enjoyed it. I, I didn't get to see Sequest 2032 at the time. It wasn't aired over here, I don't believe. Um, it was several years later. It may have been something like the Sci-Fi Channel over here on Sky that got it, I cannot recall. Um, but yeah, it was it was like the the ITV didn't um, commit to the entire lot. Um, but yeah, it's 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 they're worth picking up. Like I said, in Germany, um, Amazon Germany, you can get a lot of stuff over there you can't get over here. Hence these. Um, so, do you remember this series? What are your thoughts on it? Um, do you recall seeing it? Don't you? Do you like it? Would you bother getting these or not? Um, if you got, if you want to 
um, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to get back and discuss Sequest with you. Um, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and the bell um, if you subscribe. That'd be great. If not, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope to see you soon and maybe speak to you. Yeah, so anyway, this is AJ signing off. See you later. Goodbye.